Peter, many, many congratulations. You've come through a hard-fought game there over Ryan Meikle. How are you feeling after that absolute battle? I just made it hard for myself. Uh, I don't know. Uh, to be honest, the other day when I lost to Devon, uh, I could have walked away from the sport quite easily and not played it again in my life. So, uh, so lucky you see me here. Just out of interest, what made you feel that way after the defeat to Devon? Oh, it was shocking, wasn't it? It wasn't great, but you, yeah. back, you, but you always bounce back. Yeah, well, you know. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I just, I suppose I've just gone. Uh, fed up with all this behind rubbish. Uh, so I'm happy now. Uh, we've got the go ahead with the, we've got to have some fans. Uh, then you'll see some proper darts. So, as bubble life really starting to take its toll on not just you but but everyone right now, these events obviously it's great we're playing again, but uh, everyone else feels, but you know, I could swear quite a lot, uh, right now, uh, how I feel about it. You know, I've been in my in my room for near enough, uh, well, since the beginning of lockdown in Coventry, in my room, and uh, they haven't even allowed me to decorate it or nothing. It's a bit boring. Yeah, you know, at least, you know, I'm going to be there for a whole month. At least let me decorate it how I want it. And it won't let me. You must be pleased with the way you've bounced back, though, from the Devon disappointment. 104 average, six from six on your doubles this evening. And that's the Peter Wright we all expect. Yeah, but that was absolute rubbish. I played absolute garbage. Uh, even I was, I was gutted I didn't take up another set of darts with me oh, and, and I was even thinking it's like if I get through this game then uh, uh, I'm definitely changing my darts because their ones didn't go at all they're too heavy on stage uh, so uh, I don't know it's garbage so. on the plus side for everything that we've said obviously Bubble life's not for you, but you get to defend your world championship potentially in front of fans. So that must please you massively. Yeah, that's just like having a. I've had an interview before saying it's like having a fourth dart. Yeah, you know, it'd be great to have them back, even if they're booing you. It, it, it will make a hell of a difference. You know, what I mean? you know, you can give it some back if they aren't booing you. And, uh, but it'd be great to have. Uh, people back supporting the darts. Peter, thank you very much as always, champ, and we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you very much. Thank you, Bath. Hi, Peter. Um, congratulations on the result tonight. I don't think I've ever heard you sound so downbeat. Um, you've um, to say that you could have walked away after playing Devon as a world champion is is an extraordinary statement. Are you concerned about your your mentality at this point going in when we're literally a month away from defending your title? Uh, form wise, I'm you know, I've had uh, on, on my days off here, uh, since I got knocked out of the grand, uh, grandstand, I've had three nine darts with three different sets of darts from 20, 28 grams to 20 grams. Uh, and it doesn't matter, I know I'm in form, but it's just the whole thing itself is just doing my nothing. And how, how do you snap out of that now? I don't know. Well, I've got, I got the little glimpse of, you know, the alley pally going up on that hill, defending my title, knowing there's going to be a crowd there. That's the difference. That's, that's what's going to make the difference. That, I must, that hasn't been confirmed, Peter. So if, it, if for some reason there was a setback to that and there wasn't fans, that would be another block for you. I'll sort Boris out. I'll go and tell him. <laughs> but in all seriousness, do you feel like you're going? To, <laughs> do you feel like you're going to snap out of this and be okay with the, that thought of the fans? Yes, yeah, yeah. You know, I'll get. You know, I haven't been to the final this one before, and uh, it's like the uh, the, the Masters beginning. Yeah, I've never got to the final that one. I won it, and uh, 
the European, I've never got to the final on that one. And, um, so, you know, if I get to the final on this one, I'm going to win it. So, thanks, Peter. Thanks for your time and great result tonight. Thank you. Yes, well, thank you, Ali. Um, well done on the win tonight. Just um, psychologically, how important is this weekend and it's the preparation for the World Championship going there on a the high? On the, the, on the what again? Sorry. Psychologically, how important is this weekend uh, in terms of your preparation for the World Championship going there on a the high? Well, it doesn't, doesn't matter to me normally. I normally go out first or second round in this tournament anyway. I'm doing no good in this one. <laughs> so, to win my first round game, I'm quite happy. Is, is that your biggest motivational factor, the, the potential of a crowd at Ali Pali? Are, are you kind of dreaming of being introduced as world champion again for a bit, uh, thousand fans? Yeah, exactly. You know, you know, you know where I'm coming from. Uh, it's going to, yeah, hopefully be a, a you know, special moment for me uh, being introduced as world champion back at the Ali Pali, you know, uh, with the crowd. Uh, so, fingers crossed. Boris, don't muck up anything. <laughs> Would that kind of save the year for you? Obviously, it's not been, you know, the world champion would usually get the opportunity to tour the trophy and, and take it around the country. Next, but a crowd being there, would that kind of save the year for you? You're breaking up. See? Yeah. Try again, Jay. Sorry, mate. Say again. Just, just the potential for a crowd. Can you hear me now, Pete? Sort of. You yeah. are breaking up. You are breaking up. Go on, I'm here. Go on. Um, Potential for a crowd is that and could that kind of save the year for you? Obviously, you would have normally had the chance to take the trophy around the country in, in exhibitions. Is that could that kind of save 2020 for you? Yes, yeah, you, it, yeah, definitely would. Yeah, yeah. All right, thanks, Peter. I will right, thank uh, Just one from me, Peter, if that's all right. Um, no, Ryan Meekles from a similar part of part of the country to yourself. Um, put on a, a great display there. Do you think there's plenty more from from Ryan to come? Oh my! Oh my God! He's an uh, he, he's an amazing player. You know, just just look at uh, you know two legs there. He had uh, two one eighties uh, back to back twice. Uh, you know, he's uh, one six seven out, and then he missed the ball for uh, another one six seven. So yeah, I how I actually know him. So uh, he used to play in Saxe London. Uh, he used to go to tournaments there, and uh, he used to play England youth. Uh, I think he's about 15 years old, uh, and I played played him at Sex London, and he was a star then. So it's good that he's, you know, he's he's got good uh, sponsors on board now and uh, good management, and uh, you know he's only just As I said, to, I said to him on stage, you know. It's you who's going to be in the future playing darts up on this stage. And, uh, you know, it's quality. 